everyone's going absolutely bananas over Grok 4. Like it's the iPhone moment of AI. And I'm over here feeling like the only person who noticed the Emperor's new clothes are basically a designer knockoff from Wish. The hype machine is running at maximum overdrive, but let's pump the brakes and take a reality check, shall we? First off, can we talk about that pricing? 300 bucks a month. That's not a subscription. That's a mortgage payment for digital bragging rights. Elon looked at OpenAI's $200 plan and said, hold my Dogecoin. We can fleece people harder than this. It's like Netflix deciding to charge premium rates but only showing you the opening credits unless you upgrade to Netflix Diamond Plus Ultra. But here's where it gets absolutely ridiculous. The actual cost breakdown reads like a parody of Silicon Valley excess. You're paying $14 for input, 12 for output, and a mind melting $1,600 for reasoning tokens. That's not pricing, that's highway robbery with extra steps. It's like ordering a burger and getting charged separately for the bun, the patty, and the privilege of watching the chef think about how to assemble it. And don't even get me started on the thinking output. If you're using the API like a normal human being, you get treated to the riveting display of thinking, 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 repeat it like a broken NPC in a budget video game. It's like paying for a mystery novel where every page just says plot twist coming without ever revealing what the twist actually is. The benchmark situation is where things get truly spicy. Grok 4 Heavy isn't even a model. It's basically the AI equivalent of bringing a calculator to a mental math competition. They're comparing a whole squad of AI agents with internet access and tool calling against solo models trying to figure things out with their digital bare hands. It's like claiming you're the fastest swimmer while everyone else is doing laps and you're riding a jet ski. Now, about those technical quirks that everyone's conveniently ignoring, this thing has more bugs than a Florida summer. It randomly vomits hundreds of empty lines like it's having an existential crisis mid-conversation. Imagine texting someone and they respond with 40 pages of blank space. That's essentially what's happening here, except you're paying premium prices for the privilege. The speed issue is particularly entertaining. Sure, it might have decent token throughput, but when it takes longer to think than a philosophy student choosing their major, you're sitting there wondering if you should have just asked ChatGPT instead. It's like having a sports car that can theoretically go 200 miles per hour but needs to stop every mile to contemplate the meaning of velocity. Here's the real kicker though. Everyone's hyping this as the coding revolution, but XAI literally admits it's garbage at code. They're promising a separate coding model sometime between August and September, which, knowing their track record, probably means your grandchildren might see it. It's like buying a gaming console that can't play games, but hey, they promise to invent games later. The privacy implications are absolutely wild. This thing scored perfect marks on every snitching benchmark, making it more eager to rat you out than that kid in elementary school who reminded the teacher about homework. It's like having a friend who seems cool but secretly live tweets everything you do to the FBI. But perhaps the most insulting part is the transparency theater. The whole point of reasoning models is supposed to be showing their work, right? Instead, they're gatekeeping that behind a $300 paywall while feeding everyone else digital breadcrumbs. It's like selling you a cookbook but blacking out all the recipes unless you pay for the deluxe edition. The context window is decent at 256k, but Google's chilling at 1 million tokens like it's not even trying. The vision capabilities exist, sure, but so does my ability to juggle. That doesn't make either of us particularly special. Look, I'm not saying Grok 4 is completely terrible. Some of those benchmark scores are genuinely impressive, like watching someone solve a Rubik's Cube while blindfolded. But when you strip away the marketing circus, questionable benchmark shenanigans, and look at what you're actually getting for your money, it's hard to understand the mass hysteria. The AI space moves faster than TikTok trends, and being king of the hill for five minutes before the next model drops isn't exactly a sustainable bragging point especially when that crown comes with more asterisks than a pharmaceutical commercial. Maybe wait for the actual coding model, see if they debug the bugs, and hope they remember that showing your work was supposed to be the whole point of reasoning models. Until then, keep your wallets closed and your expectations realistic.